Guys, if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know we like shotguns. <laughs> oh yeah, we do love shotguns here, guys. And the Winchester SXP Defender that you see right here, the Extreme Defender at that, is just another sweet shotgun that I'm actually really happy to send some rounds down range with. Shot the two slugs pretty well on my steel target there, but I've got a pouch full of bird shot here for Mr. Hand Select. Uh, oh, I got the chamber back, don't I? Or the, uh, not the chamber, but the uh, pump, duh. Let's see how he likes that. Yeah, he's probably seen better days. Anyway, let's see, this guy will hold one, two, three, Four and Winchester, it's, it's, it's one of these shotguns too. I've, I've shot a few shotguns and some of them, you just, it's, they don't, they're not smooth, they're not comfortable, they're not ergonomic to feed. You might pinch your, sh your thumb through the feed ramp or whatever else, you know? And you don't have that problem with this guy. That's five, yeah, so five, nice. All right, now one thing I will say that's a little bit different on this shotgun is right where the release is for the pump right here here so a little strange to get used to at first but granted if you just kind of here focus it off to that side kind of change your position just a, a little bit you can actuate it all right so nice all right yeah you can shoot this guy pretty quick too rotating bolt design oh man very smooth pump too guys yeah yeah, you can, you can shoot this guy pretty quick. Let's see what all that bird shot does over here. The Mr. Hand Select, poor buddy. It's all right. He's doing his job, you know? That's what we got him here for. And uh, the couple of slugs hit. Oh yeah. That's always really fun to do, guys. <laughs> now this Winchester SXP Extreme Defender, synthetic stock system on it, and you'll notice it's got that pistol grip design on it, breacher muzzle device or choke on it. And that breacher, is actually pretty neat. It's made to pretty much go right, dig into the hinges of a door or something, you know, like if you were to take a look right here, you know, hopefully without knocking this over. See how it's dug in? You can actually see the teeth are sunk into the wood, right? Now, the reason you have all of these cuts here on the side or on top and all around isn't so much for recoil reduction, which it definitely helps with, but it's so when you're breaching and you've got this thing stuck into a lock or whatever else, and you pull the trigger, all those gases have somewhere to escape. And because this is my only two by four, that's not getting chewed up. I'm not gonna blow that one to be, to, yeah, pieces right now. Uh, but if you'd like to see that on the channel, you know, just let us know. But anyway, yeah, so all those gases and everything getting sent down the barrel have somewhere to escape instead of, you know, just blowing up on you and giving you a bad day. You may have made entry, but so have a bunch of other crap into your face and that's no good. <laughs> Anyway, uh, really cool thing about this shotgun though is all the little extras that it comes with. Again, we're talking about the pistol grip stock set. Also comes with a little bit of a cheek riser, which is nice. Comes with one separate is what I'm saying. So if you do have an optic mounted on your Picatinny section, just forward of the rear sight, you, you know, aren't having to get a chin weld, you can actually get a cheek weld with that riser. Very cool. Comes with the heat shield attached to the barrel. It does come separate in the box. You have to put it on there yourself, but guys, super easy install. All it does, take this guy off. So that way, you know, you can slide the heat shield on over it and you're pretty much set. You just tighten it down with an Allen wrench and it comes with it, so easy. Also it comes with the Picatinny option, or Picatinny option, comes with the Picatinny sections on both sides here. So if you want a flashlight or a laser on there, go for it. I would actually, be interested to see how well it would hold zero with a laser on this guy. Granted, you know, it's a shotgun, so it's more of a reference point than it is gonna be an exact point of impact, uh, which, again, there's pretty accurate shotguns out there. So if you'd like to see a type of video like that in the future, also let me know down in the comments. We start getting a little picky about all sorts of extras and tactical items we can throw on there, right? All right, uh, the pump on it, very ergonomic again you guys saw that five plus one capacity and it is ribbed for your gripping pleasure <laughs> and overall just a really good looking shotgun both sling swivel options here on the side for you and if you loosen this guy up it should swing around for you i think or no that's a stationary sling swivel on the right hand side so if you want to get a left hand slide swing 
you've got this guy here. So ambi sling options, I guess, pretty cool. And then of course your standard sling mount right back here. Nice. Now, after shooting all those rounds quickly and everything else, guys, it's a breeze. It's really comfortable shotgun to shoot, and that's partly due to because of this nice, thick recoil pad right back here. So all of that impact isn't just very abrasive and abrupt right into your shoulder. It actually has a little bit of cushion here, which is very nice. And again, with this muzzle device right up here, it helps, you know, mitigate that recoil just a little bit as well. So really like it. And also too, you don't really see a whole lot of these, you know, uh, Cerakoted and flat darker shotguns just straight from the factory. And I think it's pretty neat. And it's got Winchester's name on it. So you know it's a quality guy, right? And yes, we also recently did a home defense video where we featured like some of our most popular shotguns, I guess you could say, or not shotguns, but firearms. And a lot of you guys down in the comments love a shotgun for home defense. And I can totally understand why. It's an intimidating freaking gun, <laughs> that's for sure. Of course, you've got the pump, right? But don't rely on that to, you know, scare away anybody because that's just a sound, that's all. But it also sends down a heavy freaking package. I mean, that's a one ounce slug right there, right? And we've seen what it could do to Mr. Hand Select and a steel target, so yikes. And also to birdshot, right? I mean, yes, you still need to aim, but you can point in a general direction and at least scare the crap out of somebody if you've got that because it's just a whole bunch of pellets being thrown down range now granted and as you guys saw on him we weren't that far away from it there is you know a little bit of a spread but it, it's not just a point and shoot gun here you know you do need to actually take the time get eyes on your target and you need to be accountable for every round that you send down range anyway so you don't just want to start you know shooting blasts off into the air anyway so all of that into consideration, and then we've got this guy here that's just a really ergonomic, tactical little shotgun. And uh, yeah, controls on it, very easy as well. Safety is just your standard cross bolt safety right here. Red, dead, that means it's gonna go boom whenever you pull the trigger, nice. And then again, there's that pump release, all right? And again, this is the SXP Extreme Defender, and it is extremely nice, dare I say it. Oh, and the sight picture on it. Check out that high profile sight on this guy here. Ghost ring rear, and then you've got that nice high profile right up here with the you know bladed protector, which is very nice. Definitely a fan of that setup. And then of course, if you wanna throw a red dot on this or whatever you wanna do, you have that Picatinny option. Sweet, right? And then we've got guys here. This is, so we've got the SXP Extreme Defender. Then we've just got the SXP Defender. I uh, just wanted to mention this guy because I know it's a very popular shotgun that's just a standard no frills, don't need the pistol grip, don't need all the muzzle devices and all that kind of stuff. All I need is something that I can keep with me, it's reliable, I know it's going to shoot, and this is it guys. And what I thought was funny enough is this being the tactical guy, I get it, it has that nice front sight on it. This one actually comes with that little fiber optic right up here, which is great again for, you know, bright daylight settings. Uh, low light settings, it'll show a little bit better than none of that will, but it's not a glow in the dark luminescent type sight. However, this shotgun is nice guys, lightweight. Uh, anyway, got another slug here. Let's see. Oh yeah, that took the target down with that one. <laughs> oh man, and that sight is very easy to pick up, I will say that. So, very cool. And glad we got these available to you guys. And I don't think I've actually, and I go back to the Cerakote color here. Uh, this one here's got permacoat on it. It's actually real durable stuff on it and a little bit darker shade than what you're seeing with this flat dark earth. Uh, so maybe this is more, I don't know. I, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think the color is, but tan flat dark earth, how about that? We'll go with that. Anyway. Uh, this is being the permacoat. It's going to be a very durable cover or finish for you, which is very cool. And like I said, I haven't seen this really a whole lot. And I don't know if we can actually expect more of these in, uh, which I don't know, kind of cool. You know, uh, I wish we had more to pull from, but that also means too, that if you want to get yours, don't miss out. All right. And, uh, let's see, I shot a slug to this guy. What about a, some bird shot here? Oh yeah, I can see where the dust picked up behind Mr. Hand Select. <laughs> oh man, he needs to get a raise, I tell you guys. Talk about getting beat up at your job. Anyway guys, this is a uh, pretty sweet setup here. So if you're looking for a new shotgun, new home defense firearm, I would definitely take a look at the Winchester SXP series. Again, the Extreme Defender and the, and the Standard Defender. What you'll find is the Tactical Defender, Tactical Extreme Defender. So 
pretty much the same except a little different and you guys can tell exactly what those differences are all right so we'll leave it off at that last thing i want to talk about though is a gun that's uh probably not the best for home defense unless your home is in a tree hide somewhere or in a very tactical environment guys we've got ourselves the nemo executive order that's right this and yes i'm calling it sexy this sexy rifle right here uh is just mm, it just screams shoot me chambered in 6.5 creedmoor which i left the debate open in the giveaway video so head on over there and let me know your thoughts 6.5 is better than 7.62 nato isn't it military thinks so department of homeland security thinks so do you think so? Let me know down in the comments on our announcement video here. You'll see it pop up at the end of this of this video to be like, you know, hey, up next or you just watch one of our recent videos, whatever. Let me know down, your, down in the comments over there what your thoughts are about that statement. But anyway, it's coming with the Trigicon 4 to 16 here. And guys, oh man, it is a beautiful rifle. And I never shot 6.5 Creedmoor before this. And I can honestly say I am a really big fan. I think a 6.5 build will be in my future. Maybe even with a Proof Research 20-inch carbon fiber wrapped barrel. Oh, that is sweet. All right. And of course, you can get your entries in for this beautiful freaking piece of art at ClassicFirearms.com. And uh, <laughs> new, what was it? Era military ordinance? It's something like that. Anyway, Nemo. Go check them out, guys. They make pretty sweet stuff. And, uh, oh, man, I'm going to really hate giving this one away. But all right, guys, I'm going to leave it off at that one right there. God bless you all. And if you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts and feelings about these shotguns here. Because me personally, I'm a, I'm a fan. So, very good. Head on over to ClassicFirearms.com. Get your entries on for that guy. Check out the Winchester SXPs. And we'll see you guys next time at ClassicFirearms.com.